I'm Dr. Bruce Betts from the Planetary Society. On October 19th, 2014, Comet Siding Spring will be having a near miss of the planet Mars. I'm going to give you some basic facts about this to get you up to speed on this amazing planetary encounter. First of all, why is it called Siding Spring? It's named after the observatory where it was discovered in Australia by Robert McNaughton. Will it hit Mars? No, it will not hit Mars. Early on, it wasn't clear, as, but as we've learned more about the orbit, gotten more observations, we know that it will pass by Mars. How far from Mars will the comet pass? At closest approach, it will be really close by planetary standards. It'll be about 140,000 kilometers, or about 88,000 miles from Mars. For reference, this is 10 times closer to Mars than any comet has flown by the Earth in recorded history. It is about the equivalent of a third the distance between the Earth and the Earth's moon, although it will still be well outside of Mars's moons because they orbit much closer to Mars. How fast will a comet be moving when it goes past Mars? Really, really fast! About 56 kilometers per second. That's about 126,000 miles per hour. How big is the comet? Well, its nucleus, the solid part inside the coma and the tail, is about 700 meters in diameter. Early on, it was thought the comet might be much larger, a few kilometers in diameter. Now we think about 700 meters, and hopefully the observations from spacecraft of Mars will actually refine that and we'll learn even more. Will the seven spacecraft currently working at Mars be safe? Don't worry. Don't fret. Don't lose sleep. Our friends are probably safe. The rovers, definitely safe. Underneath the atmosphere, any dust coming through will get burn up in the atmosphere. The orbiters are in a little bit more danger, but we think not much. Lots of studies have shown that because the comet is going far enough by Mars, far enough away from Mars, away from the spacecraft, that the debris cloud going with it, the coma and the tail, will actually pass uh, far enough away that the, the spacecraft will just be at the edge of the debris cloud. And so we think they'll be okay. NASA even has phased orbits, so its spacecraft will be on the other side of Mars at the most dangerous period, but then able to make observations before and after. So spacecraft should be safe. Will there be science obtained? You're darn tootin' there will. All these spacecraft, even though they were never designed to observe a comet during a comet flyby, have been coordinated and so they'll be doing observations of the comet during and after the flyby. And those observations should tell us some interesting things, particularly about the dust and gas coming off the comet, about the interaction of that dust and gas with the Mars atmosphere, and we'll get some imaging, although don't expect up close and personal imaging, uh, but we should get images of a few pixels across, maybe even images of the comet with Mars. In any case, lots of great science. Will this science information be new and different and exciting? Yeah, because it turns out we have never done a spacecraft flyby of a, a long period comet, a comet like this that's coming from way out in the Oort cloud, so far out that it's probably only making its first pass by the sun. All the other spacecraft observations of comets have been periodic comets, comets that orbit in a few years or a few tens of years around the sun. That allows us to predict where to send spacecraft to encounter them, but it causes the sun to cook them over and over again for millions and billions of years. So that's what we're observing with those comets. This one will be pristine, and we're not really sure what we'll see. Will the comet be visible from Earth? Well, Mars is very easily visible from Earth, but the comet, mm, only if you've got a telescope, probably a pretty big telescope to observe it, and it's better observing from the southern hemisphere. Definitely not a naked eye object, and probably even challenging with binoculars. Where can you learn more about this amazing planetary encounter? Well, you can go to planetary.org. You can also click here for a link to my blog, which will tell you more about this, as well as tell you more places to learn more about learning more about this fabulous planetary encounter. Thank you and good night.